Gary Johnson reverted to the side which began the game at Rochdale last week, bringing back Colin Pluck and putting huge defender Hugo Rodriguez back on the bench. Carlisle included the former Grimsby and Blackburn striker Steve Livingston up front. And in defence, look out for Darren Kelly, who turned down a career with pop band Westlife to become a professional footballer. Good decision. Your commentator at Hewish Park is Martin Dean. Bill Johnson with the free kick, hanged in towards Pluck. A little run on the far side. And the will have the corner. Held in towards the near post. Gunnan came for it, didn't get it on the line, and it's been turned in. First goal of the game, first historic goal for Yeovil. And what a start for Yeovil, and the man is on that hot streak, Kevin Gore. Well, the corner was floated in towards the near post. Matt Glennon came for it, didn't really get to it. Kirk Jackson got the shot and it was stopped right on the line by Kevin Gall. And all Gall had to do then was just to turn it into the net. What a start for Yeovil. Four minutes gone. And they already lead Carlisle by a goal to nil. Oh, I'm getting the return from Simpson. Now Russell playing it back for Chris Billy. Wide for Mark Birch on the far side. Now McGill. Simpson screaming for it in the middle. Hasn't been picked up. He has now. Hasn't been dispossessed. Williams playing it short for goal. Now Colin Platt looking to lead the way on this right hand side. Gosling. Crittenden was looking to make a little run. There's Kirk Jackson at the far post. Jackson! Oh, should have buried it. Another well-worked move from Yeovil, which perhaps should have produced a second goal. Jeremy Gosling, the architect then, spotted the run that Jackson had made on the far post, but having done the hard work and got into position, Jackson not quite able to produce the finish. Well, 22 goals last season. We be disappointed not to have got another one there. Puddington. Jackson and Gall in the middle. Out of the way by Madison. Lee Johnson trying to get it in. And the shot from Kevin Gall. And that's two. He's unstoppable at the moment. Absolutely unstoppable at the moment. Well, Kevin Gall had a torrid time when he was at Bristol Rovers. But he's in tremendous form here for Yeovil. It's four already this season, and he took that beautifully. Could this be number three? Well, it should have been. Almost a hat-trick for Kevin Gall then. Well, the Carlisle defence went AWOL. Kevin Gall getting in behind them. And he'll be disappointed not to have made it three. Coming in towards Craig Russell. Good defending from Colin Pluck. Now Lockwood. Jamie Gosling. And O'Brien. Newell content to play it around at the back. Gosling was caught in possession though by Foreign. And the danger's one from Carlisle's point of view. Rundles win a corner. Well, maybe there's a lesson for Yeovil to learn there. Get the opportunity, get the ball upfield. Corner taken short. This is Paul Simpson. Ball in towards the near post. Not properly cleared. Oh, and up against the bar. And hooked away. There's Darren Kelly, I think, coming in on the far post, who got the header in. And the first real let off from Yeovil's point of view. Well, Paul Simpson delivering a decent cross this time. It'll flick on at the near post, and Darren Kelly coming in. 
Got the header in. Real happy to see it come back off the crossbar. And now Kevin Gall is away at the other end. A chance here for Gall. Should have scored. Good save from Glennon. Well, that's twice he's had opportunities to complete the hat-trick, Kevin Gall. Not quite managing it. Still the danger not completely cleared. Nick Crittenden in towards Gall once more. Darren Way. This is Way again. Back for Jackson. And a good save eventually from Matt Glennon. There's Jamie Goslin, in fact, who got the shot in. And Kevin Gall, his opportunities, could have had four in this first half. Rondell lifting it over the top. Lockwood under a bit of pressure from Richie Foran. Inside for Billy. Now Paul Simpson. Thought just for a moment about the shot before picking out Brendan McGill. Pulled in towards Chris Billy. And that should have been. Well, it was beautifully teed up for Chris Billy. He should have done better with the effort. This is Jackson looking to set Gaul away. First touch almost knocked it into his path. Glennon, not a great clearance. It's fallen for Gavin Williams. Only too long on it. And now, certainly quicker into the tackle in the second half. Got a bit of defending to do now, though. Gaul is in the middle. If Jackson can find him, here is Kevin Gaul. Oh! Didn't quite run for him. Now, Gaul acknowledging the part that his fellow striker played in that one. Jackson unselfishly setting him up just as he did at Rochdale last Saturday for the goal. This time, though, goal not able to oblige. Lee Johnson. Through the middle towards Gavin Williams. Almost getting Kirk Jackson away. And this is Richie Foran. Chance for him to drive a shot in here. I don't know whether Wheel got a touch, I don't think he did quite. Goal kick has been given. Oh, a good chance going begging from Carlisle's point of view. They've had a much better second half, that's for sure. Colin Pluck. With the long ball towards Lindergaard on the far side. Brought it down well. Now into the path of Kevin Gore. Looking to float it in towards Jackson. And that will surely seal it for Yobel. Well, it was the dynamic strike duo that did it again then for Yobel. Last week, Jackson set up Gore for a simple tap-in. This time it was Kevin Gore who turned provider. Jackson sliding it home from a couple of yards. And Yobel now surely heading for their second victory in the Football League in their first here at Jewish Park. And Johnson has given it away. This is Paul Simpson. Adam Rundle on the far side. Lockwood got a foot in. So too did Darren White. It was a little high though. Rundle again looking to drive the cross in. Now El Colty can bring it clear. Oh. Through the legs. Simpson failing to get the cross in. Not another opportunity though. And back towards Darren Kelly. Now Simpson. Forward towards Livingston. Darren Way was in there. So to Adam Lockwood. Danger still not cleared though. This is McGill. Now Billy. And a little chip. In the end, finishing up wide of the post from Richie Foran. Gary, this, uh, this football league stuff's pretty easy, isn't it? <laughs> Well, both games actually, we've, we've had to still work hard. I know 3 1 against Rochdale and 3 0 again today makes it sound easy, but uh, everything you get in this league you have to earn, and we said that last week. And the boys are putting the effort in, and if you put the effort in with the amount of ability that we've got, 
you win football matches? When we came in about quarter past one, there was, uh, there was a lot of fans. You know, everyone was really excited and saying, oh, you know, come on, let's get the win. And you sort of, it was hard because if Carlisle had come here today and beat us, then it would have spoiled the sort of, spoiled the sort of party for the club. And, uh, and I think it was a bit, a little bit of pressure, but, but the pressure sort of goes when you come out on the pitch. So a comfortable win for Gary Johnson's team, who after just two games in the Football League, now lie at the top of the third division.